got you interested in painting? I understand originally you were a lawyer. Yeah. Well, I first must apologize for my poor English, but I'll try to, to give you some ideas. Well, I am a lawyer. I was graduated in uh, 1955, and I practiced law for a long time. But uh, you see, I, I had uh, the, the thing began in a strange way, because I had a friend who was a painter, and I had a, an empty place in my, my, my resting room, or my, 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 my one, of, one of my rooms. And so I wanted to put some of his paintings, and he promised me to give, to give me one. Well, I was always, uh, always asking him to bring the paintings, and he didn't bring. And so the space was still empty, and I tried to fill with uh, something I did, you see, I made. That's why it began. When I, di uh, when I discovered that uh, I could do something, well, this, uh, I'm talking about 30 years ago, because I've been painting for this long time. And when I began uh, discovering that, that I could do, they were raw things uh, in the beginning, you see, but, uh, well, they, uh, I, I began to have the knack of it and I began to like it, uh, dealing with the paint and that's what. Uh -huh. Let's start <coughs> with one of the, the earlier paintings here. Yeah, this, this one. is one, I began painting uh, scenes from the Bible. And I, I, I could only say that I, I, I have uh, painted all the, the Bible, I would say. But this is a, a scene of, from the Apocalypse. And I, 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 I made all, all the Apocalypse. And this is a scene where there is an angel. I just look at the Bible and I, I, I see what's written. And uh, it says that an angel came and he, uh, there were four angels that were uh, holding the, 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 the wings in the four corners of the earth. And so I imagined this, you see? Uh -huh. Then, <coughs> so you did a whole series of these, from basically yeah, from yeah, the yeah, apocalypse. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Good. Uh, then later, you began to paint more secular subjects, or what is often referred to as naive art. And here's one, a barbershop. Well, I, I wouldn't say that I... Uh, that well, I always painted the same, the same way. You see, people put me into this category of uh, naive, but I, I don't really know if it is naive or not. Uh -huh. uh, but I decided uh, from 1986 uh, on to paint on things that I was uh, facing. You see, I, th these uh, biblical scenes were, were uh, just imagination, but I decided to paint. Uh, things that I were, uh, were living with. Uh -huh. And so I decided to paint uh, Brazilian scenes to, to, uh, to show what, uh, what happens to us uh, in our daily life. And so your paintings more or less uh, really reflect the culture of Brazil, which is quite well, unique to, is. to I Brazil. I think it is. I don't have uh -huh. a special subject, but I try to, to reproduce the things that are around me, you see? Right. Uh -huh. Let's get this one, a scene in a park. Yeah. All right, now in, I notice that the figures, the representational figures, change as time goes <coughs> by. Yeah. And we're starting with the earlier ones, and this uh, is slightly different. The figures yeah. have a different... Uh, did you change the technique, or did you find your way no, of no, painting? No, no, the, 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 the paintings change the itself. You see, yeah. I, I'm, I'm not the owner of it. it uh -huh. Sometimes it gets out uh, by itself. Uh -huh. And uh, I, I, I have been noticing that uh, in the first... Uh, in the, uh, when I began, I, I got uh, broad views of things. You see, I didn't get uh, too close. And now I'm beginning to get closer. Uh -huh. Probably this is the difference you have been. Okay. Uh, let's move then to different subjects here. I'm going to hold two of these up. Uh, what is this big balloon thing here? Well, this is a kind of festivity that we have in Brazil uh, during the month of June, you see? It's called uh, São João. It's, uh, it happens to, to uh, commemorate the birthday of uh, St. John, St. Anthony, and St. Peter. Uh -huh. uh, we have festivities. Probably this came from Portugal. And uh, we try to, to reproduce. Uh, normally in, in, in city life, 
uh, it, it, it tries to reproduce the rural, the rural life. So uh -huh. we have uh, these little flags and the balloons and the fireworks. And it's a very, very special festivity. Uh -huh. Now, is that a similar type of festivity as to this one? Yes, it is. And we have a kind of a mocking weddings at this festivity. You see, uh, people uh, they dress up like uh, the bride, the groom, and the, the godfathers. And the, uh -huh. okay, such as we're going to have tonight. Yeah, tonight. we are going to have one special for you. Uh huh. Well, it's uh, quite a festive month in yeah. Brazil. This painting here uh, is quite interesting. If my pronunciation isn't too bad, it's something like Bumba Meu Boy? Yes, it is. Uh, it's a, a festivity too. We, we are a happy country. You see, we have fasts all the time, uh -huh. peace all the time. And this is a Bumba Meu Boy. It's a <clears throat> normally in January, uh, commemorating the kings, uh, the, the three kings of the day. And they go around, uh, they, they, there's a man that comes inside this, this uh, kind of uh, bowl. Uh -huh. And he walks around and they sing and they... Let's get a, a, another uh, close-up of the same yeah. subject, right? Would you hold that for of me? Of course. Thanks. Well, okay. this is one of the things that I'm, I would like to, to show you. You see my painting in the beginning, I, I took the, those broad views I, I told you about. Uh -huh. and now I'm getting closer. You see, instead of uh, taking a whole scene, I'm getting one of the uh -huh. persons. You right, see? right. Now, is this uh, the same thing? I notice you have a lot of these little animals. This one doesn't have a person riding on it. Is this uh, also the Bumba Meal Boy? Yeah, but the person isn't riding. It's uh, hidden inside. Ah, you see, uh -huh. it's uh, the same too. Uh -huh. That kind of thing that uh, happens in the northern parts of Brazil. Uh -huh. But mm -hmm. we have it here in Rio. It's, it originated uh, yeah, up also, there, huh? Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, <coughs> uh, you began with some biblical subjects, and here is just a, f a few. Well, I don't want to call them religious, actually, but yes, a, it is. a typical <coughs> wedding scene. No, it isn't a wedding scene. It's uh, in fact uh, this ah. this painting was uh, a communion. Uh, a portrait I had of uh, two cousins of mine, of their communion some some 40 years ago, and I found it interesting, and I, I reproduced it, you see, uh -huh, uh -huh. from a portrait. Right, and then here's a typical, uh, now here's a wedding, right? Yeah, right, the weddings, I don't know hard. why. You I paint a lot of weddings. I don't know why weddings attract me so Wishful much. Wishful thinking. Yeah, perhaps <laughs> it is. <laughs> uh-huh, good, and then we have something a little different. Yeah. Uh, I don't know in Brazil whether the whether the uh, the religions which came from Africa are integrated here as much in the church as they are in Mexico. Yes, they, they are. Are they? they are. Uh -huh. This is, uh, what is this one? O passe? Yeah, yeah. This is a kind of a touch that people in Macumba and in, in Spiritism uh, sex they do, you see, to give you good luck and to, to heal you from your uh, source and uh -huh, uh -huh. so the spirit comes down. Yeah, and the yes, spirit descends is. and touches you. Good. You have quite a few. Let's walk over this way and take a look at these. Uh, what I would call for a better word, everyday scenes. Yeah, it is. And now I'm living in a rural place. You see, and so I, I, I I'm trying to put these subjects that are around me in the, the, the painting. And this mm -hmm. is a, a simple scene of a, a boy meeting a girl. And no more no portal. Yeah, Love in the doorway. Yeah, that's ah, Okay. And here is a, a street scene again. Mm -hmm. Of course, Brazilians are famous as lovers, <coughs> so I would yeah. imagine you have quite a few paintings. Vida yeah. Amarga. What's it, that? it would mean uh, bitter life because uh, it represents the I would say the girls are walking on the streets, you see, uh -huh, uh -huh. and they are, <laughs> well, this is something that we see uh, uh, every day, and that's, uh, well, I, it, it gets me attracted to this. Uh -huh. do, you, do you more or less consciously choose your subject? Did you, do you choose to, to represent the cultural life, or how does that happen? No, I, how do you I find your subjects? I thought in the beginning that I choose the subjects. Uh -huh. Because, uh, but I didn't know that uh, the choosing of the subjects had some um, uh, connection with the things that I was living at the time, you see? Uh -huh. And so, I don't know. They just come about. Yeah. Magic. Yeah. All right. 
Uh, you have done a number of lovely family portraits. I know I have uh, one, and a friend in Greece has one. And, and this is uh, this is a, a portrait nice of a family, family portrait. Uh -huh. Well, family weddings attracts me. Can you guess why? Perhaps because you're single. <laughs> yeah, perhaps. Perhaps a little bit. All right. Here is one that I especially love. In fact, I like it so well that I'm taking it back to the States. And this is very recent, isn't it? 1993. Yeah. O Vendador de Doces, the yeah. seller of sweets. Yeah, yeah. In a park. Is this a, your scenes in nature, do you make them up or do you take them directly from the environment? No, uh, well, normally I make them up. All uh -huh. my subjects are made up, you uh -huh. see. But uh, sometimes I try to reproduce out. Uh, there is one uh, particular painting that I should like you. Should like Which you one is that? Ah, that yes. One. Excuse me. Uh huh. Well, this is a... Uh, que ver meu passarinho. <laughs> well, this is a kind of a, a joke I try to, to put in the table. Uh, we have... A, I'm living in a rural place, you see, so the, uh, life here is very simple. And I have been noticing that people here, instead of... They are poor people and they don't have cars and... And so uh, instead of uh, doing that things, uh, those things that people, uh, the rich people do, showing off their cars and cleaning their cars, they use birds. They have uh, birds and they, they get together to show their birds and to show uh, uh, which one is the, the most uh, beautiful. And that's a kind of a macho reunion that yeah. uh, it made me so think about. So instead of walking their dogs, they walk their birds. Yeah, that's here. it. And uh -huh. so, uh, as you may may imagine, bird here in, in Brazil means to the the, the 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 dick. You see, your dick. And so I, I put in the, in the title this: Do you want to to see my bird? Uh -huh. Meaning that this uh, reunion has uh, something more to be than the just, just showing birds. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now I understand this one is going to the. Museum of Art in Rio yeah, de Janeiro, I, I right? Yeah, I this for uh -huh. them. Good. All right. Now here's another subject that I just love, and I've been fortunate enough to witness the spectacle of Carnival in Rio. Yeah, this is. And a this is a Scuola di Samba. Yeah, it's a normal uh, scene of Carnival. Uh, you have uh, the, the the woman that carries the flag and his uh, his uh, her boyfriend. You see that her company is her. And this is the battery, the, the players, they, they play. Yeah, and everybody's dancing. The movement, yeah, the movement is fantastic. Music and song is part of everyday life in Brazil. Yeah. And here are two scenes, different sizes, in, I think one of them is called Musicos and the other, the singer, o cantador. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Both well, these are a bar scene. You see, when I go to the bars, I, I look at people that are around me and uh, how they, they react during their drinking of beer. Uh, uh -huh. That's what comes yeah. out, you see. Right. Here's another one, but it looks... Uh, no, it was painted just a year earlier. Mm. And this is one of my favorite subjects. I love to play pool, of course. Yeah. Could you come over here, Okay. Yeah, good. Mm. And this is uh, another bar scene. Yeah. Huh? Uh, does that inf imply that you spend a lot of time in bars? No, <laughs> I'm not a very secluded guy. Very secluded guy out in the country <laughs> in Rio. Okay, another family scene here, which which also I like so much that I I'm taking it back with me. And it's the birthday party. Parabéns para você. Yeah, th it's That's a lovely. special Brazilian thing. You see, every Brazilian party, birthday party, must have this kind of uh, sweets and the cakes and these uh, balloons. Mm -hmm. And so I tried to reproduce what I saw, you see? Yeah, good. All right, now, of course, Brazil isn't Brazil without this next subject. Yeah. yeah. And that is... Football. Yeah, the, the, the soccer. soccer, as you call it. Uh -huh. Well, this was made in night during the World Cup of that uh -huh. time, you see. But, uh, well, I try to reproduce what people feel when they are watching the, the TV and uh, cheering the team, you see. It's a, it's a kind of a very Brazilian thing because oh, yes. you are here and you know that the streets are full of colors or flags and everybody. Well, uh, somebody said that Brazil is samba. Uh, carnaval and football. That's it. And football. Uh -huh. Good. Okay. 
Faber, you've worked in oils, in uh, acrylics, in watercolors, in charcoal drawings. You've done a number of uh, woodcuts. Yeah. Right? What is your favorite medium, if, the, if you have one? Well, uh, the favorite one is uh, the painting. And I begin uh, with oil, and now I change to acrylics. And I, uh, it was very hard to to make uh, this change, you see, because uh, painting with one is absolutely different with painting with the, the other one. What is the difference between oil and acrylic? Well, I don't know, but uh, well, uh, oil takes too much uh, more time to, to dry, you see, and acrylic is, is easier. I, I was able to make uh, uh, paintings more quick than uh, uh -huh. with oil. Right. Let's take a look at some of the watercolors you've done. Mm. This one's uh, Salome. Is that yeah, right? That's it. Uh huh. Quite nice. That's it. Of course, I I feel that your watercolors are so vibrant, so vibrant. Uh, here's one, another family portrait. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a kind of. Uh, um, I don't know, uh, a subject that comes uh, uh, every, yeah. everywhere right. around. And here is a Macumba, right? The yeah. spirit mm -hmm. descending, or? Yeah. Well, what is the title here? Papa? No, no, what? Macumba. The, the title is Macumba. Right? I see, I see, I see. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Here's another familiar street scene. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Sailor, marinero. Yeah, it's right. a night scene. A, a nice sailor scene. and a whore. Uh huh. Okay. They're getting together. Right. A drawing. Now I happen to be with you. You ran out of paints. Finished the paints. So you just had to work. And so pencil and uh, an ink blush, ink yeah. wash. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Lovely drawing. Lovely drawing. Okay. And the next one is. Very, very lovely. The colors are just fantastic. One of the things I especially like about all your paintings is your use of color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a, a wedding scene too. You yeah. see that it comes back all around. Even the biblical scenes, they are coming back all around. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. It's kind of an obsession. An obsession with you. Obsession. All right, good. Well, the lovely paintings in the lovely yard of Kleber Figueira in Marica, Rio de Janeiro. Kleber, it's been a privilege. Thank you very much for showing <laughs> your paintings.